Now it's looking less like we're going to see a deal to head off the sequester and more like those automatic spending cuts we've been talking so much about are going to start kicking in in midnight. Uh, Jerry Seib of the Wall Street Journal wrote this just recently saying, quote, the most stunning aspect of the latest budget impasse is that nobody really is scurrying around to prevent it. Here's a thought about who could perhaps should do that. A group of younger, moderate Democrats in the Senate. What Washington badly needs right now are people to serve as a bridge between the two parties. Moderate and conservative Democrats often have formed these bridges between the parties. Uh, Jerry Seib goes on and identifies six senators as lawmakers who could be part of that bridge. One of them joins us now, Alaska Senator Mark Bagich. So, Senator, are you the one? Can you make this bridge happen, a compromise between both sides? I, I don't know if I can be the one, but I'll tell you, there, there's folks like myself, and I think that article really laid it out. A lot of us new guys that don't look at the past and the traditions or who said what to who 10 years ago or 15 years ago and still holding grudges. We're about trying to get some stuff done here. And I, I can tell you there's a lot of chatter behind the scenes with folks uh, on both sides and obviously uh, a group of us moderate Democrats trying to figure out if there's an avenue here. But I, I tell want it, to say tell us predict about that, Senator. Uh, well, first, hearing some chatter in the background, we'd like to, we'd like to hear more about that. What, what, well, is that, what first, shape is, is that taking? Well, first off, I think people's come, people have come to the conclusion that, you know, Friday hits, we're going to have these automatic budget cuts that will start slowly unraveling. They won't happen. You know, everyone thinks, my God, Monday, it's all going to cave in. That's not what's going to happen. It's going to be a slow unraveling. And then I think that gives some air as we get to the end of the month when we deal with the continuing resolution. I think there's some discussion, and I think it's not a bad discussion to take the appropriation bills that have been done already for 2013. Uh, tighten them up a little bit more, bring those forward, then another continuing resolution, make that part of the, the closer for the 2013 budget, get, get that off the table. Because as you know, if we do a CR, a continuing resolution, we'll be funding things we shouldn't be funding, like hmm. the shuttle program that doesn't exist anymore. So, so there's a lot Senator of discussion saying, let's try that. So, Senator, that's interesting to hear that there's some discussion still ongoing. You recently uh, wrote a letter that criticized not only your fellow Democrats, everybody. but Republicans, <laughs> yeah, and, and the president. You really got everybody yeah. all in there. You, just, you, you missed the media, but we'll, 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 take, we'll take blame where we should. In a, in a compromise situation, though, somebody has to be th the first one to come forward, you know, the first right. one to make that offering. Jerry Seib says it's moderate Democrats like yourself. Who do you think needs to, for lack of a better term, blink first on this? Well, it's a good question because everyone wants to point of, at, any, at everybody, basically. And my view is I'm happy as an individual senator to step out. I've said all along that it has to be a three-pronged approach on this budget. We've got to cut the budget. I can give you a shopping list of areas. Uh, we've got to deal with revenues. Tax reform is a great avenue. We've produced a tax reform bill. And the third is we've got to still invest in this country in energy and education and infrastructure. And so I keep saying this and I keep telling folks, let's just sit down put it on the table and you know what it's going to be a tough battle because guess what we have to actually make some decisions and it's not going to be comfortable right. and I'm and okay Senator, with I'm sorry to interrupt but we're going to have to run in a second why isn't that working a lot of our viewers might be uh, thinking well that sounds pretty good so so why isn't it working I think what you're seeing is a slow transition here a lot of new players new people like myself are not afraid of these votes you know some people say oh my god if I take this vote I'll be tortured in the next election you know what They'll say it anyway. So let's just get on with the show and figure this out. And I think a lot of us are trying to push that up. And I do believe at the end of the day, for example, we're going to have a budget on the floor before we go on the next uh, spring break period at the end of the March because we're going to mm -hmm. deal with that. And that will be the battleground that will start this discussion. I've been one of those encouraging the leadership. Let's just get this budget on the floor. Let's debate it. It will be tough. But we will get it done and we'll have a course and some certainty. And that's what I think you're going to see in about two weeks, two and a half weeks. That may be the pivot point that we'll have that budget on the floor and uh, everyone will throw their ideas. We'll have a tug of war. At the end of the day, you folks in the media will have great opportunity to cover us for all kinds of things. Well, it takes courage to do that and we look forward to, to talking to you over the next several weeks as that comes together because to that's it. the indication that in you know, the next couple weeks that's where the real big battle is. Senator, it's nice to see you as Absolutely. always. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Well, the sequestration, Senator Begich.